Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. It's a beautiful day here in the beginning of December. One thing we like to do with Plant Smart Living is we, you know, before we cook something in the kitchen, we go out to our organic vegetable garden and we, we pick our vegetables and then go inside and, and, and cook them. And so today we're going to talk about the uh, red beets and we're going to pick them out here in the garden and we're going to go inside. And so right now I have this row cover that's over the red beets and so uh, I planted these uh, in August by seed. I direct seeded them in the garden. And so uh, we just love our red beets here at Plant Smart Living. And so I'm going to just pick about three red beets here. And uh, we're going to go inside and cook them. Maybe I'll pick one more. But as you can see, you know, you have some compost still on them here. You can see the tap root that goes down into the ground to so it can receive all its nutrients and then of course there's a lot of good leafy greens here that we can we can go through and so anyhow we'll meet you inside the kitchen So we're in the kitchen. I just finished. I took these red beets and uh, I actually took them outside on the hose and washed them down because my irrigation system and all my water is, is shut down because now we're in December and so the pipes would freeze. So I just took these be beets and washed them on my hose. You could do them inside, of course, just to get all the extra compost and dirt off of them. And so, uh, you know, the beets we use here, they're, it's called a Detroit dark red, uh, dark red. And so these are the uh, that's the package of seeds they came in. So for $1.79, I mean, there's probably a good 50 or more seeds. And there's the seed itself right there. It's actually a cluster seed. So you'll get three to five plants maybe from this one little tiny seed. And so, you know, you can save so much money uh, by just uh, starting your own plants out in the garden. And, you know, we always emphasize smart living. And so, uh, you know, by growing your own food, you can save so much money. Uh, I've been on this plant uh, plant-based diet for about three years now and so uh, you know I've experienced amazing health results my uh, blood pressure and my my cholesterol was you know way high and since then I've switched over my fuel to, to vegetables and starches and so you know my cholesterol and blood pressure has plummeted and my energy has skyrocketed and I've also lost 65 pounds on top of that and so you know I, I know our focus is not originally on weight loss it's on regaining our health and so but you know weight loss is just a side benefit. But anyhow, you know, we love our red beets here. You know, they're, they're very healthy for you. In fact, let me just read a, some of the, a quick description on the back of the package here. Uh, Detroit dark red is delicious and unbeatable for canning and pickling. It has a robust, sweet flavor with an intense, bright, crimson red color. The 13 inch to 16 inch glossy tops, these are the greens up top here, are tasty and nutritious greens rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. And so we know that these are power packed with nu nutrition and so you know they have a nice buttery taste. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cook these in our Instapot uh, pressure cooker that we got a couple months back and I'm going to put about a cup of, cup of water in there. And uh, I know some people you could probably cut your greens and cook them separate from your red beets but I kind of just like keeping things simple. These greens may overcook a little bit more than usual, but I cook these, I'm going to cook these at, at 15 minutes on high pressure and then just let it go for natural pressure release for about 10 minutes. So I'm basically going to just pick up this bundle here and then just put them right in the Instapot. And like I said, you could always cut your greens separate and cook them separate, but I just like doing everything in one batch here. So we're going to just put this lid on here and turn it here this way and so I'm just going to simply push the manual button and then we'll scroll down to 15 minutes now your time may vary there were some small beats in there and some little larger beats uh, you know maybe you may and depending on how many you cook so you may your time may be a little bit less maybe 12 minutes or it may be a little bit more and so 
that you, if you cooking more beets, you may want to add a few more minutes on time, and a lot of it's also press personal preference. So, and you always want to make sure you put the, the valve on top over it to seal, and so I sealed that, and so it's probably going to take a, oh five ten minutes for that to come up to pressure, and so uh, when these are done, we'll we'll see you back in the kitchen. Okay, well the red beets are done cooking. We actually went 14 minutes on the natural release. Uh, it just means they cook just a little bit longer. Uh, we got talking about plant-based living and uh, time got away a little bit on us. So I'm just simply, you know, if, if I were to open the valve up, you know, there's nothing releasing right now because all the pressure is pretty much uh, going out of the, the uh, pressure cooker. So we're just simply going to take the lid off here and uh, you can take a look inside here. Certainly the greens are well done. And so let's just see if we can pick these up here. That's a pretty big batch. Let's just set these right on here. And let's just give them the fork test and see how, how done they are. And so the greens are going to be done really well. Let's cut these stalks off of here. And I used to cut these and slice them up before I cooked them, you know, which is kind of hard getting through the beet. But, you know, with them, uh, I cook them first now, and then it's so much easier to slice them once they're all nice and soft. So that's actually a really nice, really nice texture there. And I'll probably have these uh, with a side dish of rice or, or potatoes. But I particularly like the red beets with, with uh, either white or brown basmati rice. It's kind of one of my favorites. And then certainly you could just cook up, cut up the steam, the uh, greens nice and, nice and small. But, but anyhow, there you go. That's, uh, they cooked really well in the, the Instapot uh, pressure cooker. And so I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, you certainly can leave them in the section below. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel to get future videos, that would be great also. So anyhow, I hope you have a great day today. Until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.